You know, we are such kindred spirits, and um, I knew I was going to enjoy talking to you, but we we five minutes okay. into the interview, and I'm like, yo, me and this brother, like, we are literally kindred spirits. Everything that you're saying is what I live by. And it's, you know, you get old enough that you understand your legacy is not about what you do for yourself. It's about what you give to others. And everything you're speaking, exactly. just, just that knowledge and the gems that you're dropping, you just gave somebody the blueprint to success, literally. And somebody might 10 years, 20 years from now, be sitting on top of the hill, millions of dollars in their bank and say, yo, you know what? It was that dude Nietzsche. I listened to him. <laughs> I heard him. He don't know me, well, and he don't yes. never know that well, I heard him. Well, cool, man. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing about it, bro, You and I tell people all the time, you can work with anybody in the world if you know what they need. If you know what they need and you can find a way to provide it, that's that's valuable to them. Like, okay, for instance, uh, if, if I wanted to work for Diddy, and, and most people come in a situation, well, what I want to do for Diddy is I want to be an A&R. Well, he may not need an A&R. He really might need his grass cut. Are you willing to cut his grass, though, for your moment? Are you willing to be his assistant or whatever he actually needs for your situation, you know, for your moment? You know, I always made the joke. I was like, man, I would have walked for the cheesecake. You would told me to walk for the cheesecake. I would have brought you back the whole cheesecake factory. There you go. I would have brought you the whole cheesecake store. Like, because at the end of the day, it's an opportunity for me to progress. It's an opportunity for me to excel. Now, you can, now, those, those same people that used to joke about that, about walking for cheesecake, work a job that they hate for 40 hours a week, there you go. for 40 years, and never, and then they retire broke. broke. So you mean to tell me that I a 40 minute walk to possibly set myself up for life? But, I'm too proud, so I want to work a job that I hate for 40 hours a week, for 40 years of my life. Nah, man, go ahead and give me the walk. Let's get the walk. There you go. Let's go get it. There you go. And, and I'm going to tell you something. Before we switch topics, because you, damn, you hitting on so much. One of the things I hate, and, and, and people really need to listen to what you just said, and please pay attention to what I'm about to say, because you, you you essentially said, yo, when, when when you're trying to get a job with somebody and you use Diddy as an example, you got to find out what this man needs, right? Yeah. I sure. have had people throughout the course of my career come and say, yo, I want to work with you. I want to work with you. <laughs> okay, I'll do whatever you need. That is the worst <laughs> thing that you could tell me or anybody who is about their business and they're busy. It's the worst answer in the world. I don't have time to figure out how to place you in my organization. You need to figure you that out. You need to sit, humble yourself, yeah. and watch and see yeah. where that white space is. What is this person mm -hmm. lacking? What is his organization lacking? What is her organization lacking? And how can I then bring value to that organization? Because that's when... It's not about them doing something for you. It's about you being able to walk in the room and say, look, I can do something for you. It's not about what, what you can for give sure. me. It's what I can actually yeah. give you. And that's when people who are exactly. the most busiest people on the planet, they is perk up. And, and, and your exactly. conversation sounds so much different than the thousand other people out there that come into their life and say, I'm the hardest worker in the world. I'll do whatever. I'll sweep the floor. I, I, I'll clean the toilets. Well, I got somebody to do that already. Figure yeah. out what, what I don't have. Find the, find the gap. Find what's missing and fill it. A lot of, a lot of the best jobs are jobs we create ourselves. Yep. You know, when, uh, when I, when I, um, I, when I got the a &R position over at Freeman's, uh, the, <sighs> I created a job. I saw that, you know, I was doing tours. I was doing like independent artist tours. I was going all over the country, all over the Southeast doing these independent artist tours. And so I was moving, I was moving one of their artists around, I was moving uh futures little cousin Wookie around. And, uh, you know, when, when they called, it was like, Hey, 
you know, we need somebody that's moving around and a guy that's, you know, feet on the ground that's out actually out here in the streets or whatever moving. You know, I created my own job. It wasn't like a situation where I just walked up to them and like, hey, can I get a position here? It's like, no, I was doing what I was doing. And I saw that, hey, I no one else is doing this here. And I know this is beneficial and I know this is valuable. Well, let me incorporate what I can do and I'll just do it. And then sure enough, as soon as the tour is over, I got the call like, and it was like, yo, you know, we want to, you know, we want to bring you on and, uh, you know, and work. And so, you know, it was dope because I never had to ask for the position. You know, I just, I just brought the value. There, there you go. You got to find the white space, man. I mean, find a white space to yes, use your words, find a gap. But, but the bottom line yeah. is yeah. I don't care how big the organization, you could be talking about Apple, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, it doesn't matter how big the organization is or how small the organization is. There is a yeah, need sure. if you sit back and watch and do your due diligence and do your homework before going to somebody with your hand out. Find what they need and exactly. go in and create your position. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.